All right, guys. So today we are going to be going over Black Raisin Cookie. A lot of people have been asking me about Black Raisin Cookie as well because she has been one of the better uh, DPSs in the past. And uh, she honestly is still being used a lot inside of the arena as well as the World Exploration. But there has been a lot of different cookies, especially like Sea Fairy, Frost Queen, Sorbet, as well as now Cotton and Pumpkin Pie that Black Raisin honestly is being questioned, right? Whether you have to use Black Raisin, whether it's worthy uh, to invest in Black Raisin because you just don't know whether uh, she is going to be worth your EXP star jellies or not. So in this video, I just want to quickly go over Black Raisin Cookie and show you guys how viable she can be inside of the world exploration as well as inside of the arena so that you guys can make the decision for yourself. But going over Black Raisin Cookie, she is going to be right now currently level 60. Uh, she is going to be an ambush cookie, so she is going to be your main DPS. Of course, 5 star promotion once again. Again, and keep in mind that the number that I show you guys can be different because of my technology as well as bonds that might be higher uh, than you guys who are watching this video right now. But going over the stats right now, uh, HP with the 5 Syrian Raspberry uh, equipped is going to be 97,224. Attack is going to be at 53,622. Defense is going to be at 40,172. Crit is going to be at 17%. And the overall power is going to be 180. 89,450 and going over the skill of Black Raisin Cookie is going to be Shadow Watcher and it is going to be a 14 second cooldown and it says no one can hide from Keen Black Raisin Eye. The cookie vanishes into the shadows, appears amidst the enemy ranks, targets cookies first and strikes several times dealing substantial area damage and the single hit damage per slash so this is not a total number but it's going to be per slash 137.4%. And that is going to be an area effect. So it is not going to be targeting just one. But everybody within that area or particular area. And uh, she will be slashing about, I believe, four to five times. Um, I can't be for sure. You guys can let me know down in the comments below. Whether you guys know exactly how many times Black Raisin Cookie will be slashing. But the topping that you want to go for with Black Raisin Cookie is going to be 5 Searing Raspberry. Okay, so there's nothing else that you really need to use for Black Raisin. You just want to go with 5 Searing Raspberry. And here we go, the substats that you guys want to have and you want to focus on. Of course, it's going to be Attack, Crit Percent, as well as Damage Resist. Okay, cooldown can help, but because her cooldown is already at low 14 seconds it's going to be a little bit hard to focus on the cooldown for her you do want to focus on damage resist just so that she can stay alive and then crit percentage as well as attack in order to maximize the amount of damage that she is able to do per slash when using her skill All right so that's going to be the topping and that is going to be Black Raisin Cookie. So let's just jump right into the World Exploration of 8-30 and show you guys exactly how strong Black Raisin Cookie can be. And here we go, guys. We are going to go against the Cake Witch once again and uh, let's see how well she does. So Black Raisin has been used as one of the best DPSs uh, for a while. Of course, she is not going to be the strongest anymore because of how many uh, different DPSs are out there currently inside of the game. You know, including Frost Queen and Sea Fairy, but she still can be a very strong cookie and she can be used within the guild boss battle. So just keep that in mind. And, you know, when you are going to invest in her, consider those things. All right. So as you can see, she is going to be summoning crows, right? And you can see that she's going to be attacking twice, all right, using her um, auto attack. And here we go. I'm going to use the skill and she is slashing one, two, three, four, five, I think. Uh, you can tell me uh, whether I was right or wrong, but 40,000, 42,000 with crit and using the lollipop. Uh, not bad at all, okay? But she is going to be an ambush, so she is going to take a lot more damage, as well as her HP pool is going to be a little bit lower. But here we go, let's use the skill. And I did not use it on the Cake Witch, but you saw about 111,000. Keep messing these up recently. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be using this skill after this. And boom, boom, boom. 60. No, not 60. 612,000 right there, guys. 612,000. And there we go. 
course, the damage is going to be almost the same as every single time. But Black Raisin, one of the better DPSs. It's just that there is one downside to Black Raisin. And the only thing is that you can miss her skill. Just like how you can miss Chili Pepper's skill, Black Raisin's skill can be missed as well. However, it's a little bit harder because of the amount of area that she is able to cover. Uh, unlike Chili Pepper, who is like a very slight line. Okay, but Black Raisin still has a chance of missing her skill. And that is the reason why back in the past, I did recommend people use Black Raisin with someone like Latte, who can make enemies rooted or immobilized. That's the reason why Black Raisin was such a good combo with Latte Cookie, or any of the stunners who will allow them to, you know, stand still for a couple of seconds utilizing Black Raisin's skill. But let's go into the arena real quick, and let me showcase Black Raisin Cookie's ability as well as how you can utilize her inside of the arena right now. Alright guys, so inside of the arena, a very standard team that we used to use was something like this or even with the Strawberry Crepe instead. And this team was really, really strong too. One of the stronger teams in my opinion that uh, basically carried you to the lower masters uh, without a doubt as long as you had a good toppings as well as uh, good treasures then definitely you could use this team and then of course licorice was also part of this team if you wanted to use it but currently right now within the meta um, I really don't know where you can use uh, black raisin cookie I am gonna be trying to use her uh, like this just uh, with the regular team and then I'll just use Black Raisin instead of Frost Queen. I don't know how well this team is going to be within the master level. But we will try her out within the team and see how well she can do. Of course, I would say um, Black Raisin is one of the better cookies to use. If you are able to group up the enemies together. And then allow your Black Raisin to do a lot more damage. Including a crit percentage. But... Right now, within the arena, it is pretty hard to group up the enemies, honestly speaking. Unless you use someone like Kumio, Ginger Brave, Comp, which I will try out later on too. So let's just try out with the standard team, and then try out using the Kumio Comp. Alright guys, so we are going to be going against a Master Dude right here. A Sea Fairy as well as a Frost Queen Double Tank, and probably a Cotton. So let's see how well we can do against a team like this. And it enemy is actually using strawberry crepe over here so black raisin is gonna be the first one to attack and she was actually able to dodge uh frost queen's freeze right over there as you can see all right so she does have an ability uh to be able to dodge some of the um, incoming attacks uh when you are able to time the skills properly okay but of course it is gonna not be every single time uh, it has to you know match the timing so all right here we go and yeah, as you can see, Frost Queen and Sea Fairy, they do a lot of damage, okay? And Black Raisin, honestly speaking, right now, it um, can't really match up with them when it comes to DPSs, right? It's a little hard. And as you can see, only 590,000, even though did, she did hit majority of the back lane right here, because of how much uh, damage resist they have, including the 50% of the damage resist from Strawberry Crepe. So she is going to be dealing a lot less damage, including the ability to miss her attack. Alright, so let's just try her out instead of a one-shot team now, with utilizing that uh, Kumio, Ginger Brave, and Almond, and see how well she can do. So here we go guys, this is the team that I've shared with you guys previously and instead of the Frost Queen, we are going to be using Black Raisin instead and see how well this team can do when you place Black Raisin inside of it. Just like how we did previously with the Tiger Lily, Ginger Brave, Almond Comp, we did use uh, the Black Raisin as well as Sea Fairy, but let's see how well we can do with this team currently right now instead of the Arena for around Master 3 level. And here we go guys, this is going to be the team. It is a single uh, tank as well as probably Parfait as well as Cotton right here. Okay, and then probably a Frost Queen. So let's see how well we can do against this team. Alright, oh actually it is a Pumpkin Pie instead. Which is not really a good news, honestly speaking. And as you can see, we pretty much use uh, Black Raisin's skill before um, the actual uh, Almond Cookies you know, skill pop. And that was the one bad thing, right? Um, the timing of the skills are really hard uh, to match up. And as you can see, 
not much damage being done by Black Raisin here. Only 500,000. But she did do a decent amount of damage targeting the backside first. But because of the low cooldown on her skill, uh, if you do not time Almond's skill properly, she definitely is going to be the first one to use her skill. And of course, you can use Black Raisin instead of the Girl Boss Battle. I can't tell you exactly how to utilize her uh, because I do not use her anymore. So let's go and see how well she does. And of course, I'm just going to be using that skill. And pretty much, I'm just going to kind of just do it normally and show you guys how well she does. Okay. There we go. So she should be using her skill around the same time as when uh, Black, you know, Vampire as well as Sorbet actually uses her skill. So. And boom. And as you saw, because of uh, Black Raisin's skill, Sorbet was actually delayed a little bit. Okay. And as you can see, Black Raisin still does a decent amount of damage. And it is a lower level dragon, as you can see, lo only level 11. Okay, of course, that's the reason why I defeated it so easily with Vampire who did about 2 million damage right there. Okay, Cotton doing about 1 million. So, as you can see, Black Raisin is not bad for the Gil Boss battle either. But there you have it, guys. That's going to be a quick review of Black Raisin Cookie and a throwback to the past. She did come out alongside of Strawberry Crepe, who were the two newest cookies that came out into the game as I started this YouTube channel. And honestly, Black Raisin Cookie was uh, used a lot within my team as well as the arena because of how strong she was. And like I said before, she still can be a strong cookie within the World Exploration Arena as well as the Guild Boss Battle, but she is not the best anymore. And that's the reason why I'm hesitant whenever people do ask, hey, can I use Black Raisin? Yes, you can. Okay. However, there are just better cookies out there, including, like I said before, Seafair and Frostfiend, of course, because they are the legendary cookies, as well as Sorbet, who is able to do a significant amount of damage to a single target, as well as Area, if you are able to utilize uh, their skill properly, as well as someone like Pumpkin Pie and Cotton currently right now, because they are able to do both uh, tanking, healing, as well as DPS with their summoned units. And that's the reason why Black Raisin Cookie is not finding a space currently right now inside of the arena. Of course, when we do have a meta shift and maybe like a crit comp come back or a comp where, you know, Black Raisin is able to fit properly, then I'm sure she will make a return because her DPS is definitely not bad. It's just that you need to be able to utilize her skill to the maximum potential in order to maximize uh, the amount of damage that she is able to do. So anyways guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you guys are wondering what topping, once again, it is going to be only full searing raspberry and the stats that I would focus on is going to be attack, crit percentage, uh, damage resist, as well as cooldown if you do have extra cooldown of course it's going to help out in order to use black raisin skill more often but that is going to be it for this review i hope you guys found it helpful if you guys did don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future cooking and kingdom videos as well as live streams that i do on youtube anyways guys thanks for watching once again and i'll see you guys all next time